everybody. Welcome to Table Talk at Ross Insurance. Today we're going to be talking about life insurance. Um, that's something that you might not know that we even offer here, and we do. And we have with us Kevin Ross, who is one of the owners here at Ross Insurance, and he is going to answer some questions for us and get us a little bit more familiar with the topic of life insurance. So, Kevin, um, what is life insurance and who needs it? Well, everybody, anybody that has a family or plans on having a family should have life insurance. And life insurance is a policy that provides money for the survivor to uh, go on with his life, to pay final expenses, and to uh, continue the education of their children, etc. Okay. So uh, that's primarily the basis, the basic needs. So I did a little research today, and with the average funeral expense being somewhere between seven and ten thousand dollars now. Um, what are some other things that life insurance would cover um, if unfortunately you needed to use it? Well, you know, it, 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 the money would be used for, of course, all final expenses, mm -hmm. medical expenses, funeral expenses, etc. But also provide a nest egg for that family to continue living their lives as they would have hopefully uh, had the survivor or the uh, wage earner in the family you know, been able to continue to earn money. Okay. But it's, it, it's really a lifetime of earnings, ideally. So children can be insured. Oh, absolutely. If you absolutely. have a family, you can write your children, do a life insurance policy for them. Absolutely. Smart thing to do. Real smart, and I'll tell you why. Uh, many people don't consider this, but, you know, in order to buy life insurance, you have to be insurable, you have to be healthy, and you have to pass physicals and things of that nature. So a real good time to buy a, a good basic solid policy is when you're young and healthy and it's very inexpensive. Unfortunately, health things happen mm -hmm. and uh, people become uninsurable. So buy it while they're young, it's health, uh, it's inexpensive and uh, makes a lot of sense. That actually brings me to my next question. What is the difference between term life and whole life? Great question. Uh, term life is a policy that you buy for a pre predetermined period of time for a predetermined amount of money. Mm -hmm. And when that time period is over, the life insurance is over. Mm -hmm. It builds no cash value, it builds can't no benefits, borrow against it. can't borrow against it, anything like that, mm -hmm. that is correct. And whole life, or universal life, it's, as it's called most commonly now, um, is a little more expensive, but when you buy it, it is, uh, that premium is frozen, and you pay that same premium for the rest of your life, and the policy stays in place for the rest of your life. And while you are paying the premiums, the policy builds cash values. Those cash values are available in an emergency to borrow against. And uh, if you take a loan from a policy and you pass away, so the death benefit is reduced by the amount of the loan. But uh, it's still very valuable. And a very important part of anybody's life insurance program is uh, some permanent coverage, like right. a universal life policy that will stay in place for the rest of their lives. So here's my question. Um, I purchased a life insurance policy in my early 20s. Mm -hmm. 30-year term. Good. Um, obviously, I was in much better physical condition. I was much younger when I was 25 years old. Right. So when that policy expires, when I'm 55, and I'm no longer in the same physical health that I was at 25, what can I expect to see as um, a premium when you reapply in your 50s? Well, it's substantially higher. I mean, for, for a, a $100,000 term policy in your 20s, you could pay as little as $150 a year. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy a $150, a $150,000 term policy in your 50s, you can expect to pay probably $800 to $1,000 a year. Mm -hmm. But it's important to have. Absolutely. So going back to that, what are some of um, the health factors that work into life insurance? Does it play a big role in life insurance? Extremely big role. Mm -hmm. and, and the basics are, are you a smoker? Mm -hmm. What's your height? What's your weight? Mm -hmm. And are you taking any prescription drugs or do you have any uh, serious medical illnesses? Mm -hmm. Each one of those plays a different role, but they all play a role and affect the cost of the policy. Can I lie about my weight? No. Oh. I'm sorry. All right. Just, I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you would be the person here that if somebody out there is interested in life insurance for themselves, for their children, for, you know, as the family, um, they would want to get in contact with you here. Absolutely. At Ross Insurance. Give us a call. Yeah. So thank you so much for listening to our table talk on life insurance. We hope that you were able to get some great information from this that you might not have known about. And again, if you are interested in life insurance, please do not hesitate to give us a call here at Ross Insurance. Kevin Ross would be more than happy to talk to you and answer any questions you have. Thanks.